Hey, what's up everybody? So, gonna start this video off. I'm here in a vacant unit that they're trying to sell and they've got two fiberglass tub shower units. Looks like they've been done before. Not horrible, but a little yellowish. And with the tone of the place, they wanna brighten them up. So, I'm gonna take you guys through the process. I'm gonna do the two tub shower units fiberglass and take you along for the process of the reglazing. Here's the first one. As you can see, if you stand back, it's a little bit discolored, yellowish. This one was coated before, not in horrible shape, but as you get closer, you can see the areas where it's worn. So you can see down here, it's just kind of worn. They've cleaned it as much as they can. So I'm gonna go through and just sand it down and take away any loose spots. And then I'm gonna have to spray a primer over it before I spray three to four coats of my finished material. So, not horrible, but definitely could use brightening up, especially when you're trying to sell. Here's the second one, same thing. From a distance, you can see it's a little bit yellow com in comparison. With the color tone, you got the gray, the gray on gray, you would want it to be white and just really pop. So, here, same thing. Looks like this one's been slightly coated before. Just got soap scum, just some wear, worn spots. Maybe they cleaned too hard and it went through the coating. A um, little bit of a leak, but I'll glove that. And yeah, otherwise, same thing. I'm gonna sand it all down. I'm gonna wash it, rinse it, and then I'm gonna primer it. And then I'll spray the bright white finish. Normally the process is I'm gonna come in, first thing I'm gonna do is start washing it, rinsing it, cleaning it. But because I know, I've spoken to the real estate agent or the property management company and they've already deep cleaned this. So they kind of did that first step for me. So I'm gonna go in and literally just go in and start sanding down. But normally, which you'll probably see in some of my other videos, I have to do a cleaning first before I start sanding because I wanna remove all the soap scum and things like that. So luckily with this one, I'm one step ahead of the game. To cover the floor, because I'm gonna be doing some sanding, there's gonna be some dust getting around. And then I covered the cabinet in the toilet and the countertop. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to sand right now and I've got 220 grit. Cause on the fiberglass and a previously uh, sprayed surface, I don't like to go too low with the grit too coarse. So I'm gonna go 220, just kind of go over it with my orbital. Also make sure I'm wearing this respirator, um, just a basic one for the dust. And uh, we'll get this kind of smoothened out. Got it all sanded down. I'm gonna do the same thing over in the other bathroom. I'm not gonna take you guys through it because it's just gonna be just, it's just gonna overdo it. So I'm gonna sand that one down, but then I'm gonna come back, wipe everything down, vacuum everything out, and then get ready to mask off and then put on the primer. So came across this one here and there's a leak. You can see it dripping. Customer does not wanna take out the plumbing, so I'm working around it. A lot of you might've been like, oh, why isn't the plumbing off? They don't want it, so I just work around it. I tape it off, mask it off. However, there's a uh, there's a leak, so I can't spray unless this leak is fixed. So instead of pulling off the job, calling a plumber, to, in order to get it done, I will divert the drip through the overflow. I'll take this off, put some gloves, kind of make my own little MacGyver um, diverter. I'm just gonna use gloves and I'll tape them together, divert it in through here. You can also get like a funnel with a tube and go straight down into the drain. That's another option, but 
just for time's sake, I'm just going to use the gloves. And so kind of put together one and it'll divert the leak into here. I mask these off, then I can actually work. Otherwise, there's just water constantly dripping here. So there you go. There's the little hokey diverter. You guys, it works. I do it often and it works and it prevents you from having to pull off the job. So that'll work. That'll stay there until it's dry. Um, then I'm, I'm now gonna go ahead and sand it and uh, let's see if we can get this looking, starting to look a little bit better. So now that both units are sanded down I'm, and wiped down, I'm gonna go ahead and start masking off around the perimeter. Usually I'll use blue tape, blue painter's tape, um, or I'll use the orange painter's tape. This is less expensive, a little bit more expensive, but I like to use this around the perimeter whenever I'm taping on like directly on the painted surface right here. So I'll usually use this. However, if this blue tape it doesn't stick well, then I'll go ahead and use this painter's tape, the orange. Now the yellow or yellow or white, whatever you want to call it, masking tape, I do not use. A lot of people will use that just because it's less expensive, but it actually could, depending on the paint job, it could rip around the perimeter. Even the blue can and the orange can, if the paint job isn't great, but if you've got a decent paint job, then those two, the orange or the blue, should be okay. So I use it around the perimeter here. So I've got it taped off around the perimeter. Now I'm gonna be putting on some masking paper around and then I take my masking tape, as I mentioned before, the white or yellow tape, whatever you wanna call it, and I tape it right to one inch masking tape and then the paper is about 24 inches plus and I, or I'm sorry, 12 inches to 16 inches. I have two sizes. I'll tape right over on top of the blue tape with my masking tape. So that way the masking tape is not on the paint. So. I'll do that, mask everything up, up around here. This drain I've taped off um, before I spray the primer. I'm gonna cut around the drain and so it's covered for when I spray. Like I said before, customer here does not wanna remove the existing fixtures, so we're leaving them as is. My hand masker, you guys, this saves so much time. It's perfect. Usually with like darker walls, I will go about 24 inches, which is two rows of the masking paper, just to prevent from overspray, leaving any type of mark or outline on the paint. All right, so I've got the bathrooms all taped off, masked off, and you can see this drain. Usually I mask off and tape around the drain, but this one, whoever did it before painted over it, so there's nothing I can do. So I'm just gonna primer and paint over it as well. Customer is aware of that. But normally we don't do that. So I'm gonna get ready right now to vacuum it out, get it all dust free, tack cloth it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray on the primer. primer so I'm just putting this in right now mixing it up really well it's real thick so I'm gonna spray this with real high pressure I don't want it to go on too thick I just want to create somewhat of a barrier to prevent any type of reaction between the old coating and the new even though that old coating I sanded it down with the orbital at 220 grit and a lot of it even like broke through it was such a thin coat so I don't think I'm gonna have too much of a problem so so when I spray, I use a cap spray, the Titan Maxim 2 HVLP spray gun. So I don't do it any other way. This is the, this is the money maker right here. Highly recommend using this if you're going to be spraying some tubs. Thank you. 
So here we go, this is just the primer. You can already see it's much better. Now I've got to wait for that to set up and dry before I could put the other finished coat. I'll probably lightly sand this down in about an hour and then I'll spray the finished coat on it. All right, you guys, getting ready to go ahead and uh, spray. Gonna mix up my material. Today I'm using Krylon Tub and Tile. So Krylon actually is a great product. It's sold at Sherwin-Williams and I actually like it. It's very sticky though and it's wet. So you have to make sure you're aware and cover everything up when you're using it. So gonna get this mixed up and then gonna get ready to spray. All right, getting ready to spray. Always make sure you got your respirator, gloves, you're covered. This material from Krylon is very sticky, so just wanna make sure it doesn't get on any part of you. One's wrapped up here. Check it out. Much better. Nice, bright, shiny white. Look, you can see you're getting like a nice reflection. That's what you want. You want to get a reflection. Looks good. This area, sometimes I'll just tell them wait till it's dry. I don't want it to hit anything before to remove the tape. But there you go. Overall, looking good. Boom, here we go, here's the other one. Much better. So much cleaner. Gonna keep that diverted leak there. They can take it off once it's dry. But much better. 